Good. Oh, it's still morning. It still it counts. Still morning. Good morning, Allies. We are going, I guess, Christmas shopping. Are we knocking out Christmas shopping today? The last of the Christmas shopping will be done with every bit of Christmas shopping. Every bit of Christmas shopping will be over. Good news for Leia. What's going in here? Oh, uh, sprouts. Sprouts. Yeah. Very sprouts is bad. Look at that. That's called buffalo plaid. That's awesome, though. I like family, Christmas. Family jamming. What's up, man? How's it going? Good? Here we see Humanist Suburbanists getting the last of their holiday shopping done. They've come to Target, known for basic white people furnishings. Even with 50% off, look at this. $25 wire basket, are you kidding me? I will tear down a pallet and make a box out of it, or make a bunch of boxes out of it before I do that. It's crazy. This thing is $80, yo. That's funny. I'm free at last. Lord, I'm free at last. Man, shopping on an empty stomach. Not fun. Feels bigger on the inside. Oh, I got beer, too. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the tagline for this picture, for this ad, says, Millennials are very bad with money. <laughs> That's a starving thing. <laughs> this is a orange wit beer? told where I'm going is ridiculously casual, so I'm going to wear my Keen uh, Chuckas and some, uh, these are like chinos and some, what are these, corduroys? And then I'll take my, uh, my selvage jeans. So, oh yeah, I can't forget my overnight bag. This has got all my toiletries in it. And uh, I'm not going to steam anything and I'm not going to iron anything because I always take a travel steamer with me. This one I picked up years ago now, and it works just fine. So I just always leave this in my bag. This goes with me at all times. It's cold where I'm going. I've got to decide if I'm taking a radio, what kind of radio I'm going to take. I mean, I'm going to take a radio, but um, the question is what radio. What is going on here? I haven't decided if I'm going to go with a just a shortwave or if I'm actually going to take my... Oh, that's right, because it's not going to work off the batteries. Damn. This is my radio go bag. Kind of, if you will. It's my soda bag, whatever you want to call it. It's got my my MFJ 9200 in here. The problem is it likes to run off of higher power lithium ion. So what I need to do is find some batteries that'll power it that uh, don't these guys, these blue lithium ions. At least I think they're lithium ion. They might be rechargeable nightcaps, but they produce a lot of power, a lot more power than. Oh. What's going on here? God, who I bought this who I bought this thing from? They did such a horrible job soldering this, this these wire leads together. And now they're just nothing but a nightmare. So I ended up taping them over. Taping over these wire leads. The whole thing's just a nightmare setup. Um, I also have a a 40 meter uh, chip came for this, so I might take that along with me, but I've gotta figure out the battery thing. Because what I don't want to have to do is, dra is drag a charger along with me, and these do not charge the batteries when they're in the uh, the cradle like this. So you are stuck. Yeah, these are 600 milliamp hour, 3.2 volt. This is my Goal Zero solar kit with the Guide 10 Plus battery pack. These are supposed to be Uber milliamp hour thingamabatteries. These are, oh, these are 1.2 volts. Right, because this is lithium ion. 
I mean, I could always just connect a 9 volt, right? Because this will run on 8. Let's not short out our battery here, guys. Ah, oh, you son of a diddly. What just happened here? I hate this. I hate this connector. I hate it. I hate I hate everything about this stupid connector that this guy did. He did such a piss poor job. This is total garbage. A good connector. I knew I was gonna need this guy pretty soon. I just had a, a hunch. My totally cheap solder station, which I'd love to get my hands on a Weller. I've got plans for that in the future, but those plans are not now. And in case you're all wondering, I am left-handed. Are there bullets? Why are there bullets in there? What the hell am I doing? Make sure I got my bullets close to my, my heating source. That's important. Absorption has started. Okay. Offending connector. Bye bye. I don't remember which direction was which. That's terrific. But I think this is on backwards anyway, so I think it's the other way. I think I'm just gonna do. Oop. Okay. All right. We got power. Okay. So I should have done that a long time anyway. So that's fine. One Patagonia jacket, um, ultralight down. I think I'm gonna take these gloves. Yeah, what the hell. Let's, for shits and giggles, let's try it with some nine volts. It says it runs off of five? No, eight. So it should run off of a nine volt. I'll just take a couple of nine volts just in case. Ah, ha ha! 8.8. .8. Excellent. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna charge these batteries up cleanly and, and all that goodness. And then I'm gonna just take some nine volts. And that'll be my oh shit battery if something were to happen. And I'm of course I'm still gonna have this for my VHF UHF and I always program it when I get to the hotel room so that it's ready to go. And yeah, I, I always do that. That's common. And uh, I, I was uh who was I talking to? I was talking to somebody I work with actually found my channel because they're programming their Baofeng and they came upon my video, which they, they, they commented me, they complimented me on. Um, but then he said, yeah, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't want to show people how to, uh, how to program the radio. I'm like, you're damn right I didn't want to show people how to program that radio because it's a pain in the butt. And he goes, oh, I don't have a problem with it. And I was like, okay, well, you know, <laughs> you're an engineer and, uh, and I'm also an engineer, but at the same time, I still hate programming those radios by hand. And I asked him, I was like, how many other radios do you have? And uh, he said, oh, this is my first radio. I was like, okay, well, it's kind of hard for you to have a frame of reference if that's your only radio. So, like, case in point, the Yaesu FT60 is just a much better radio to manually program. But if you don't have that frame of reference, ugh, everything is going to be good to you. You know what I mean? I mean, th these are saying they're fully depleted. So... Uh, that is one of the great things about these LifePo batteries, like the one that I just showed you, that, that big honkin' one, is that they will run almost balls to the wall up into the point that they have to be charged. That's how they, uh, that's how they, they operate. They will totally just kick butt, take names, <laughs> as much as a battery can do, and then they'll die. And they'll, they'll, they'll go to their last breath and then they just, poof, they plummet versus, uh, this is a NICAD in front of me, NICADs will degrade on a slope, a predictable slope. So these are just gonna, they're just gonna die on you eventually, but who cares? So I've got, oh, somebody asked me what my, my, my power bank is. This is a two port, a two amp and a one amp output, 12,000 milliamp hour, uh, power add model pilot s i have had this my mother-in-law gave this to me this has been such a solid little battery pack and the reason why i like it is it's thin i don't mind that it's so much longer i like that it's thin because i can slide this in between books in between laptops uh in my everyday messenger bag it is solid performer i don't know that they make these anymore and that's probably fine because they have much higher milliamp hour uh, batteries now so you should probably if you're interested in one, I'll post a link to some in the description and you can check them out. So this has got to go. The radio's going. 
I'm going to depend on these batteries up until they die, and then I'll switch over to the 9 volts. Oh, um, didn't haven't talked about it yet, because frankly, I suck. Uh, this is a Korg Nano Key Studio. It is a Bluetooth um, MIDI controller, MIDI keyboard. And it has hard plastic keys, pads, control knobs, and an XY board with some uh, controls that map directly to an app called... Korg Gadget. It runs off of two AAA batteries, which is just like great. That's nothing, right? So um, I need some AAA batteries. Hey guys, so uh, I have waited far too long to do this. I'm gonna wrap the vlog up, but I forgot to give away the survival tabs. I've got the strawberry and I've got the vanilla malt. So I'm on the uh, random YouTube comment picker. Let me start recording here. All right, so I'm gonna randomly pick a winner. Here we go. Random. Ryan Dubé, good for you, buddy. All right, so uh, this is cool that you get this because um, you, you can try it and tell me what you think, because I know you've got some um, some dietary issues, some things that you're working with, so um, you did not, let's see, you did not pick a flavor, so, so okay, I, I'm going to, I will not, I'll just give you whatever, let's see if somebody else, so Ryan Dubay, you got the first one, next comment. Kisan! Wow, crazy! All my all my legit legit old school followers. So Kisan said vanilla. So vanilla it is, buddy. And so that means Ryan Strawberry is coming to you, bud. Wow, thanks so much for uh <laughs> I'm happy that some the people who watch the vlogs the most are the ones who, who got the the meal tab. So super, super cool. Guys, uh that will do it for for today question of the day so what is your everybody kind of has like a go-to thing that they they put in their travel bag like th this one thing that you either you feel more comfortable with it and and even if you don't use it all the time like what is this one item i'll tell you what mine is hold on so believe it or not for me it's these little stuffable backpacks i know that sounds kind of dumb but um, I go in and out of areas where you are going to get in big trouble if you have cell phones. So uh, I like to put work stuff in these little stuffy bags and an extra jacket and whatever else I need. And this goes into where I'm going. And everything else can stay in the hotel room, in the safe, or in the car. So this peace of mind, because it's also a backpack, um, I can always use this as a second carry-on bag if I need to bring extra stuff home. Yeah, you know, so you have your your personal item and then your carry on, right? And then you could you could stow the other your other bag, stuff like that, right? So peace of mind, an extra backpack like this. Okay, cool, guys. That'll do it for today. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe, and I will talk to you tomorrow. What's going on, Charlotte? Are you tired? I'm sure you're tired. Hi, hi, Charlotte. Guys, this is the go time for both holidays and work for some reason. It all seemed to work out this way. Crazy week coming up, and it's only going to get crazier as we get closer to Christmas, so hang on tight. We'll see ya.